How do folks you're watching, Deuce? I just heard a rumor and saw the leak that apparently Glock is going to be making an AR-15. Yes, this, this Glock, this Glock company right here is going to be making an AR-15. Why? I honestly don't really know. There's, there's not a lot of innovation that's really out there for this standard AR-15 platform. And we do have a leaked image, so we're going to go over that real quick. And I'm going to, I want to point out some things that I see. Maybe you guys can see some things too, and put that down in the comments below, and we can discuss that in the comments and maybe in a future video. I did send Glock an email for more information. They have not responded yet. For the most part, it looks like a standard AR-15 that has been well equipped. It has a suppressor on it. It has a nice looking scope, although I don't know the brand of that scope. Maybe we can figure that out later. One notable feature is that it does have ambidextrous controls on the lower. So lefties and righties can drop a bolt, can drop a magazine, and can actuate the safety. And it's hard to tell, but I think it might have an ambidextrous uh, charging lever as well. You know, basically an unlock lever on both sides. So you can unlock the charging handle from both sides, not just one, which I think that's what's on there. It's kind of hard to tell because the only picture we have is kind of blurry and kind of grainy. One unusual and notable feature on this AR-15 from Glock is the fact that the handguard has a quick release. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot count the number of times that I've been in a field and really wished I could change out my handguard real quick. The answer is zero. I have never had to do that. <laughs> now, maybe that quick release handguard is hiding something underneath like a quick change barrel, but probably not. For those of you who don't know, the AR-15 handguard, there are several different types and models of handguards out there, and many of them can be pretty quickly taken off and reattached. For instance, this handguard here just unscrews. This handguard has six different torx headed screws. You take those off, the handguard slides right off. And this big mamma jamma right here has just two Allen bolts holding the handguard on. And once you take those out, the handguard just slides right off. Pretty quick. There's a rumor going around that the Glock AR-15 will incorporate one of the weird patented gas systems, which is an annular gas piston system. And basically what it is, is a piston that encirculates the entire barrel and moves back to I guess like rods on either side of the barrel to actuate the bolt. But that is not the case because you can clearly see a gas tube through that skeletonized handguard. And when you compare that handguard and that gas tube to the patents that Glock has filed for that piston system, you can see they're totally different. For comparison, I've taken off the handguard for this AR-15 and you can see basically you have a gas port drilled into the barrel which feeds into the gas block right here. And it feeds gas all the way down this gas tube and pushes back the bolt. That's how the AR-15 basically works. If this rifle had the annular gas piston system, it would have the normal gas port, just like normal. It may be in a different location, but it would be a normal hole drilled into the barrel, just like what we expect. But instead of a gas block, it would have a collar around the barrel and a piston also around the barrel, and that piston would be forced back with the gas pressure from a shot round. And the piston would shoot back, I can't remember how far the piston travels, but it's a very short distance. And it pushes back two, I guess, operating rods on either side of the barrel all the way down. So it shoots these operating rods all the way down, they're flat rods, and it pushes back the bolt instead of the piston inside the bolt being actuated by the gas in the gas tube. Now there are a few advantages for the piston system like the annular gas piston system. And that would be number one is that the heat would stay out of the receiver and off the bolt. It would all remain out here on the barrel, which is pretty cool. Advantage number two is that a piston system is very suppressor friendly. When you have a suppressor on your AR-15 and you have a normal gas system like this, the gases blow out and into your face every time you shoot it. It just right back in your face and if you got some CLP on there, then it is uh, very stinky. But if you have a piston system, none of that happens. All the gases stay up here away from the bolt, away from the receiver, and away from your face. So that's nice. I'm not sure how Glock can patent that system because it basically is the same system that's on my VZ-52 rifle here. 
And if you're not familiar with that, the VZ-52 rifle, which I've already taken the handguard off for your viewing pleasure. Basically, there is a gas port drilled into the barrel up here, and it hits a collar that forces back this piston, which in turn forces this sheet metal operating rod. It basically goes around about half the barrel or three-fourths of the barrel and clamps around it. And it moves the operating rod all the way down. And let me see if I can get this in the light here. You can see those two operating rods coming on either side of the chamber. And they come out about a half inch and they shoot the bolt all the way back here to chamber the next round. Now how Glock can patent that while it's pretty much been in the public domain for decades, I have no idea. But maybe they have something different to bring to the table that is not addressed in this design. Unfortunately, without any more information, I can't recommend the Glock AR-15 just yet. We don't even know if it's actually going to be offered or if it's some sort of one-off that they're just testing the market with, and they might pull it back later, and just it'll be a one-off for their museum later on down the road. Who knows? But without knowing pricing and the actual specifics of the gas system, I really can't recommend looking into it any further than just an oddity until it actually hits the market. Now, more than likely, it's going to be a standard AR-15 with some good add-ons such as the ambidextrous controls. That would be helpful for a lefty or for someone who shares their rifle with someone who is opposite handed than they are. That would be very, very handy. But also due to name recognition, I'm gonna bet they're gonna be charging a premium for this AR-15, and I'm not cool with that. AR-15s are very well designed to be built at a very budget price. All the standard AR-15 patents are long gone, so pretty much any company who wants to make an AR-15 can make an AR-15. If you're gonna build an AR-15, I do recommend the Anderson Manufacturing Lower. They are inexpensive and very, very good. If you wanna buy a completed AR-15 that's ready to go right out of the box, there's pretty much two options that I recommend for a budget choice. Number one would be Palmetto State Armory's AR-15 line. Those are fantastic for the price. A second option for the finished AR-15 crowd is the Smith & Wesson Sport 2. That's a fantastic option. Now, if you compare a similar equipped version with the Palmetto State Armory options. The prices for the Smith & Wesson are going to be a little bit higher. Not much, but a little bit higher. So you are paying a little bit for that Smith & Wesson name. But again, it's going to be a very solid AR-15. And the Smith & Wesson name does have some clout. So guys, what do you think about a Glock AR-15? I mean, if it's just a standard AR-15, I think it's dumb. I think it's stupid. There's no reason for them to bring that to the market. But if they're bringing something different, if they're bringing something completely different to the table that's in an AR-15 package, I'm all for it. I think it's really cool. I want to see innovation. I want to see different ways to make an AR-15 more ar 15 year But I do want to see what they can bring to the table if they are bringing something different to the table. Well, guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and go subscribe. A lot more is on the way. If you have any comments, questions, show ideas, leave that in the comment box of the video. I try to give as possible. As always, you guys have a great day. See ya.